Welcome to Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Today, substituting for Norman is Sandy Kissinger, hey. my beautiful bride. Hey. It is our anniversary. We have spent over three and a half decades together, 36 years, and uh, we, we're we just excited that that's the case. Uh, we. We live in an era where somehow marriage is undervalued by the society at large, and it is a difficult thing at times. It, there are seasons that are hard in marriage, but uh, we need to work through those seasons. Let me l- read the nightlight. It's out of Proverbs 31, verse 27, about the worth of ruby, uh, a woman whose worth is above rubies, or price is above rubies. It says, She looketh well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children arise up and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praiseth her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellest them all. When I got married on August the 4th, 1984, it was the best decision that I've ever made apart from getting saved. Um, I believe that marriage has the ability to call forth the very best in us and to cause us to rise up to the the challenges of uniting two lives together into one harmonious marriage. Marriage does have seasons where that that is challenged and tested and you have to draw on the four kinds of love. There's Eros love which is the very physical um, beginning part of love. It's a very passionate, very physical, uh, high emotions in it. There is a phileo love, it's a friendship love where you have things in common with one another. It's a storge love, which is a family kind of a love where you're connected in family relationships. And then there's an agape love, which is a a covenant kind of love, a giving kind of love that cares the most about the other person and not just yourself. Um, At some points in your relationship, you'll have to draw on all of those levels of love. Uh, and so you can't just focus on one of them. You have to focus on all of them. And so I'm so thankful that my little bride has stayed with me. She she married she married down and I married up. And uh, I'm so glad that she helped me to become uh, really who I am today. She she took somebody that would have been was very socially backward, and she developed me. Um, and I'm I'm amazed at that. I'm so thankful for it. I I could have never spoken in public had it not been for her. I could have never. Uh, led a church had it not been for her. I, I would have never developed as a communicator had it not been for her. Uh, I owe just almost everything in my life. I've said it in church before uh, when I was pastoring, but she saved my life. I mean, I, I don't even know what I would be without her. And I think the if you're a young person and listening to this, be very careful about who you marry. Marry well. It is probably one of the most important decisions that you'll make. I know I certainly married well, and I'm glad for it. Let's have a word of prayer. I'm going to have Sandy keep her eyes open, though, because she's driving. So, dear Lord God, I thank you for the and I thank you for the gift of marriage. It teaches us about our relationship with you. I pray that you be with any that are under the sound of my voice or maybe struggling in their marriage. Allow them to be able to focus on the other kinds of love as well so that they can uh, weather the crisis, so that they can heal their marriage, God. I I pray that you would just be with those that are considering marriage, that are thinking about marrying somebody. Allow them to have wise uh, discernment about who they marry, that they might marry well. And Lord, help them to become the kind of person that, that would attract a good mate. Help us, God, to be your people for this place and time. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.